Now to a powerful new take on gun violence in American schools. Sandy Hook Promise, founded by families impacted by that tragedy, is releasing a public service announcement that the group says all families need to see. It's been nearly seven years now since that devastating day at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Nicole Hockley, who lost her son Dylan in the shooting, says these are the realities of sending your kids to school now. That's chilling. And a warning, what you're about to watch, it could be disturbing. Here's Kate Snow. This year, my mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. The PSA starts with innocent scenes of kids showing off their back to school gear, but then unravels into a nightmare. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. A boy runs from an active shooter in his new shoes. A girl ties a door shut with her new jacket. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool. A gut punch that going back to school isn't just about buying school supplies, but for some kids, it's about staying alive. The PSA culminates with a girl hiding from the shooter in a bathroom stall, texting her mom, I love you. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. At the end, the girl with the phone gets me every time. For Nicole Hockley, it's all too real. Her six-year-old son, Dylan, was murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary in 2012. Her other son, Jake, now a high school sophomore, survived. As managing director of Sandy Hook Promise, Hockley helped develop the annual PSA. People might wonder why, why do a PSA that is it's hard to watch. We don't want people to turn away from it, so pretending it doesn't exist is not helping to solve it. What do you <laughs> the organization's previous PSAs have racked up more than 10 million views. And this one comes at a crucial time. These scissors really come in handy in art class. In the days since 31 people were killed in two mass shootings within 24 hours this summer, there were renewed calls for legislation in Washington. At the same time, purchases of bulletproof backpacks soared. I will never put a bulletproof backpack on my kid. I think that sends the totally the wrong message. He's not a soldier going off to war. He's a boy going off to his math class. For the nation, it was horrible to have two shootings in succession, El Paso, Dayton. For you and families like you. It always just hits me emotionally when I think about their futures, what those families that have lost loved ones and the communities around them are going to ex experience going forward. Because you've been there. Because I've been there and I'm still there. This jacket is a real must-have. Along with these annual PSAs, Hockley says what works is teaching kids and parents to look for warning signs. That has saved lives. It's very elating to know that our programs are working, but it's also, you know, it's, it's also heartbreaking at the same time because it was too late for us. How are you doing? How am I doing? That's a good question. I'm still standing. I'm still filled with hope because I know that we can save lives along the way while we get to where we need to be as a country. That was powerful, wasn't it? That was Kate Snow reporting. Okay, some of the warning signs that they teach people to look for include a fascination or obsession with firearms, excessive overreactions to something minor, change in academic performance, extreme feelings of isolation or social withdrawal. Important to note that those signs don't necessarily mean a person is planning an act of violence, but Sandy Hook Promise urges people do not ignore those signs.